so we'll get started now in just a sec. Okay, make sure you have your mat, make sure you have some water, make sure the room is well ventilated. And as always, guys, you're participating at your own risk. Okay, morning. I... Jan, yes, okay, I, all, I know you're all there, great. Okay, so let's get started. Lying down. Okay, so I just moved this t-shirt, so. Let's start off loosening out our back. I'm just gonna move my arm, keep your arm here. I'm just moving mine for you. All right, head is nice and relaxed. Shoulders, just give them a little wiggle into the floor. That's it, okay, take a nice big inhale. As you exhale, roll the pelvis in. Now I want you to crunch your tummy, guys. We wanna wake it up, okay? And release it back to neutral. Big exhale, curl it in, nice big crunch, squeeze. Try and engage the pelvic floor and roll it back. And again, big inhale. <sighs> exhale, so we're really trying to scoop and hollow out this tummy, connect and release it. Two more here, big exhale, squeeze and crunch, big pelvic tilt and roll it back. Last one, big exhale, <sighs> crunch and release it back. Okay, take the knees into tabletop, same thing, squeeze the tummy and release it. Okay, so we're pelvic tilting, exact same movement. Exhale and release it. Big exhale, squeeze. Squeeze, keep the chin slightly in. Just warm it up guys. Big exhale, squeeze. Now if you're finding this too hard, put the feet back down onto the floor and go back to where we were just a minute ago. Big squeeze. So I'll try and give as many alternatives as I can. Okay, so we will be doing some uh, moves with lifting the head today. I know that's not everybody's favorite. So you can always just repeat. This is a great one to repeat. Big squeeze. Okay, big squeeze. Pelvic tilt. My abs are screaming. Last two. Pelvic tilt. Last one, big squeeze. All right, legs up towards the ceiling. We're gonna wake up our hamstrings by having a leg stretch. Okay, chin slightly in, guys. Curl it up and hold it here. Imagine there's a knife behind your head. Okay, we're gonna reach up. Just waking up our twisting. Now guys, if your hamstrings aren't as good as mine, put a bend in your knees. Okay, legs up is great for your vascular system. Okay, brilliant for varicose veins. Big stretch. Five more. Four, three, two, and head down, roll it down. Roll the head side to side. Okay, hands in underneath your hips. Do put a pelvic tilt in. Flex your feet, so this foot is the only one I can flex, okay, but you flex both yours. Okay, push your back down into your hands as you lower that leg. Point the toe and bring it back up, okay? Push the back, belly is connected. Okay, shoulders relaxed, myself included. Okay, so we have that nice pelvic tilt that we did at the start of class. Now nice, slow and controlled moves here, guys. Okay, this ankle weight that I'm wearing is pretty heavy, so I'm having to be a lot more cautious on one side. So remember to point and flex the ankle. So I'm gonna have great fun getting my ankle mobility back after this. Sit, continue to press into those hands. Lower tummies are screaming. Well, mine is. Ready for the change? We're gonna do four more here. Let's go, four. Nice and slow. Three. Two. And one. Keep those legs up. Fingertips by the temples. Reach up. Let's go once again. Reach for the ankle. Squeeze it up. 
upper abdominals right underneath your bust. So nice big stretch around guys. Wrap it around. Try and reach all the way out and around. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and lower it down. Okay, legs into tabletop, guys. Hands, guys, if, um, because I'm carrying an extra weight, my core is really being challenged already. So I'm gonna put a slight pelvic tilt. I'm gonna use my hands to stop that pelvis rolling away. Knees apart, guys. Knee in line with the hip. Okay, chin is in. Let's go. Out. Hold it. Pelvic tilt. And then bring it back in. Okay. Now, if you're feeling strong today, stay in neutral. However, remember we do need that pause. So really scoop and hollow out that gut. So knit into it. Press out. Big exhale. Big push. Okay, I'm gonna make this slightly harder, so please stay here if you're happy here. We're gonna take the leg out, hold it. I'm gonna drop it just an inch, bring it back up and in. Now guys, that drop looks like nothing, but really challenged into the core here. Squeeze and bring it back in, okay? Lengthen. Drop. Now, you really want to hold that pelvic tilt, that imprint. Remember, it's just a slight out of neutral. That's it. Leave out that drop if it's going into your back, if you haven't got the strength to hold it. Got it. Really knit in, guys. Squeeze your little core. Last two. Out. Drop. Up. In. Out. Drop. Up. And in. Okay, well done. Have a quick break, guys. Okay, I'm going to start off. I'm probably going to keep my feet on the floor. My legs getting tired because that bloom and cast, okay? But you can take your legs into tabletop as soon as you're ready. Okay, if you have your weights, okay, challenge yourself. So I'm gonna bring the weights together. I like to hook my thumbs, wrists nice and straight, guys. Okay, shoulders. Let's just start off with our rib cage connection. Take the arms towards the ears, pushing the ribs down. Remember, we never want the back. Don't know if you can see that with my T-shirt, but my back has exploded, my chest has exploded, okay? So let's just control this for a minute and I'm gonna make this really nice and challenging for you. So I'm gonna be layering this up. Okay, pelvic floors, squeeze them. Keep those ribs down and in. Okay, let's bring in some legs, guys. Two arms, one leg. Now I'm gonna make this super challenging in just a moment, but I'm gonna layer it up first. Chin in. Okay, I'm gonna leave out the legs. You continue up the legs. My poor thigh is screaming. <laughs> okay, so remember, rib cage. Really knit into those pelvic floors. So remember, we have that core stability. Challenging the ribs. Now, gravity wants my ribs to explode. So I'm gonna challenge myself further by putting in a nice pause here. Now, your one leg will be out for you guys. And then exhale to bring it back in. Okay, hold it up, pause. Keep that back still. Exhale to bring it back up. So having that pause. Deep breaths. 
last one. Okay. Let's just have the hands down for a sec. We're going to bring the two in together. Okay. If you need your hands in underneath your pelvis, two legs. Now, as I go out, I'm definitely putting that slight tilt into my pelvis. Okay. So I'm slightly bearing down into the floor. And as I bring the legs back in, I'm able to release back into neutral. Okay. Stay here if you're happy here. Keep the hands in underneath you. Okay, hook your thumbs together. Wrists nice and straight. You're opening out into a V shape. Nice big push through the belly. So remember, it's never a jam with the back. It's just a light pelvic tilt. Okay, core is really engaged. Squeeze into those tummies. Got it? We're going to go for eight more. Eight. Stay strong. My hands are sticky. <laughs> Seven. Six, five, four, three, two. Bring those legs back up. Okay, you can go with your weights if you want to. Fingertips by the temples, nodding yes. Let's lift it up, chin is in. Reach across. your sides, face me, bend up your knees, okay, Schmidt's favourite coming up, okay, you want to bring in some weights, <laughs> I think I have enough weights though, okay, remember our lemon is here, let's go, big squeeze guys, so do you remember a few weeks ago I told you to try on your belt, okay, and I need to try on my own again, Okay, I can't get my trousers on with my calf, which is a real nuisance because I'm wearing too much elastic. Okay, but this is the one that's going to give you the inch loss on inch loss on your waist. Okay, it's the one that's going to bring you in. So, big squeeze. So remember, you can modify this one. Stay here. I'm just going to show the modification. I should have showed it earlier. Okay, same, same. That's it. Big exhales. Big crunch. Big crunch. So this is the one that gives you the line down the side of your tummies, guys. It also is great for stimulating your intestines, okay? So this is a great one as well. So remember what you eat shows on your tummy. <laughs> Four more. Four. Three. One, hold it up. Okay, here's our pulses. Crunch it, crunch it, crunch. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stretch it out. Okay. Stretch. Sorry, I just need to keep my leg off the floor. <laughs> big stretch. Oh, big stretch, big stretch, big stretch. Brilliant. Okay, other side. Okay, definitely don't need a weight on this side. Okay, so remember, bottom arm is out here at shoulder height. Okay, it's not here, not here, not here, not here. Here, 90 degrees. Okay, knees bent up. So remember your modification if you need it. Deep breaths. 
Big squeeze. Well done, guys. So remember to check out the page later. I have a few surprise classes posting for you. I, I, I actually can't remember what I have posting, if I'm honest. But I have something posting for you. They're all good classes. <laughs> Big squeezy. I think I might have yoga posting for you today. Crunch it. Squeeze it. Four more here. Then we're going pulsing. Three. Two. Hold it. Squeeze and pulse. Squeeze and pulse. Pulse it. Pulse it. Pulse it. Crunch, crunch. 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 Five. Four. Three. Two. Stretch. Okay. Stretch into that waist. We'll do a proper stretch towards the end of the class. Sit. Got it. Okay. Lower abdominals. Sorry, I'm just preparing some space this way. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like sitting backwards on the bus, isn't it? Okay, so. So, bigger pelvic tilts. Okay, now, stay here if you're happy here. Remember, the knees are splitting, and we are opening out to each elbow. Okay, so knee split, tap. Okay, stay here. If you're having difficulty, we're back here where we were at the start of class. Just get that pelvic tilt and engage these abs. Okay, so you're still working the same muscles. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, it's because of dust. <coughs> Lovely. Deep breaths. Big squeeze, guys. That's it. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay, hold it here. Keep the head down if you prefer, guys. Okay, let's go. that wouldn't be great okay so use your hands as little brace pads if you need them squeeze it four more three two up you come Heads down if you prefer. Sorry, now my back is as stiff as a poker today because I'm not getting to do my yoga. Okay, so guys, knees are splitting. Okay, this is option number one. Knees split, you're touching the back of either arm. Okay, option one. Option two is full lift up. Okay, use your tummy. Please make sure that we're only rolling into about our bra strap. We never roll any further. 
Okay, we certainly never ever come into our head or neck. Okay, so stay here if you're happy here. Okay, if you're struggling with this one, remember you're here, pelvic tilt. Guys, this is fantastic, this one. Okay, so you don't even have to do anything else to fire up those abs. This is firing them up as well. Okay, make sure you're only ever rolling into the shoulders. Super slow motion, rolling it down. This is a nice one actually to loosen out my back. Okay, I'm not using my hands because um, I find I cheat with my hands. Now we're going to do four more. So whatever one you're on, you're going to do four more. The great thing about all these ones as well, guys, is that the legs are elevated, um, you know, to take the fatigue out of the leg. Stretches out the hamstrings as well. The back of the leg fires up that core. Okay, we're going to bring those legs into tabletop. Hold it here. Split your knees. Hands if you need them. Get your brake pads. Let's go. Hinge towards the floor. Okay, this is level one. Got it? Remember the back is staying still. I'm in that slight imprint. So remember, a big pelvic tilt is too obvious okay just a slight pelvic tilt okay option two coming up knees together now here you're going to need a bigger pelvic tilt why my legs are heavier two legs together is twice the weight deep breath that's it guys we're doing great Big exhale, squeeze it up. Squeeze it. Two more here. Chin in, you'll find the head starts to go back. Two legs together, let's go, push it out. That's it. Press out. Four more here, four. Three, two, and one. Okay, roll it over onto your side. You know your modifications, let's go. Deep breath, squeeze it. So remember guys, abs are made in the kitchen, which is why I still don't have a six pack, I never will. <laughs> okay, my biggest down, oh well, it's chocolate and uh, cheese, you know, cheese. Every time I eat cheese, it just appears on my gut. It's terrible, I just can't manage it. Deep breath, squeeze it. Squeeze. Four more here. Four, three, two. Hold it up, guys, hold it up. We have our scrunchies, <laughs> scrunchies, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, I don't know, I was going to say squeeze, and then I said crunch, so I got scrunchy instead. Little crunches, come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and stretch. Stretch out that waist. Stretch out that waist. Big stretch. Other side. 
straight. So remember, you can be in a dead straight line, and we're just lifting the two legs instead. Okay, make sure your bottom shoulder's happy. So make sure you're really crunching up. Think about that lemon. Okay guys, next one coming up is a little bit tough. If you're not happy with it, leave it out. Go back and do something else that we've already done, okay? So, my two knees are bent. I think you can see that. Okay, get into a dead straight line. Push the pelvis forward. Okay guys, your shoulder's gonna be here for scaffolding, but it's our, if you imagine I'm being hoisted up by my t-shirt, by my love handle, okay? Nice big lift. So I'm gonna use a weight here. Okay, you don't have to. Okay, you don't have to at all. Okay, there's a string here. Okay, now this is my core, and my arm is here as a scaffold. Push deep into that shoulder as well. You're still pressing down. Breathe, exhale here. Now, if you want to, you could straighten out this bottom, this top leg, I beg your pardon. Okay, for obvious reasons, I can't do that. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay, whichever side is on top, okay, just roll onto your, onto your back. Okay, the side that was on top, guys. Okay, legs up reach up. We're just going to repeat that side. Okay, if you're tired, bend your knees or look, feet on the floor. Same thing. If the legs are up, try and get right up to that ankle or higher. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Okay, well done. Spin it around. Okay. Other side. Okay, now, I want you to be in a dead straight line. So your knees and your body are in a dead straight line. Sorry, the elbow is in underneath here. Okay, guys, I need to modify this one for myself because I can't put pressure on that calf. Okay, so. Okay, so your knees are gonna be stacked like so. Hey guys, a phone call came in there. Sorry, keep going. It was just a phone call. I forgot to knock the phone onto airplane mode. My fault. Okay, so remember you're in a nice straight line. Okay, this is really not working for me, but anyway. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, so take those legs up. Okay, so remember the side that was on top. Um, what's this side?
Okay, when you're ready, guys, I'll peek up, turn it up, elbows wide. We're nearly finished. Stay strong now, okay? So my arms didn't really work yesterday because I was still able to open the fridge. <laughs> so I'm hoping today my abs will be too sore to move. <laughs> Four more. Three, two, and one. Okay, last round. Last round, guys. Okay, so lots of choices. Okay, so choice number one is that nice pelvic tilt. Choice two is our goal post. Split your knees. Choice three is full inversion. That's it. So guys, somebody just came online there this morning. The class is almost over. Okay, so um, I don't suggest you start now. I suggest um, I'll have it uploaded in just a minute because this is our last one, okay? Squeeze. Well, I hope you're well and good morning. <laughs> Four more. Three. Two. One, hold it here guys, okay. Arms up, chin in, let's go, on the diagonal. That's it. Five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay, legs into tabletop. Head is down, guys, to start off with. Reach the fingers. We're going to start bouncing some basketballs underneath our hands. Okay, nod yet. Take a big inhale. Exhale. If you don't want to lift the head, please don't. Shoulders back and down. Hollow out that foot, guys. Really scoop it in. Okay, got it? All right, stay here if you're happy here. Otherwise, legs out, 45 degrees. Push the bottom ribs down and get your curl up from here, right underneath that foot. Hollow out your gut, guys. Squeeze it. That's it. Reach those arms across the room. Make sure your head is happy. Put it down if it's not. Keep the legs out in 45 degrees. I'm going to bend mine in because that calf weighs a blooming ton. Okay, squeeze. Get those pelvic floors up and in. Three more, two more, and one more, that's it, and reach it out. Okay, have a stretch, have a stretch. All the way through your body, guys. All the way through your body. Big stretch to your waist. Hold one side, I'm just stretching in an arc. Stretching an arc to the other side. Take big stretch down the middle. Make sure that your belly's getting a stretch. Let the back arch. We're gonna let the rib cage explode. I've got a really decent stretch here, right down into my lower tummy. Hold that stretch. And release it. Well done. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let me know how you found that class, guys. Okay, it will be posted here for you on the page so you can do it as much as you like. So listen, have a great day and enjoy the sunshine and I will see you soon. Okay, bye-bye.